everybody, Jason here of Ghostbusters News, and I am back here today to talk more about retro Ghostbusters toys, because recently here on the channel, we took a look at this, an original Kenner Real Ghostbusters Proton Pack. And being a child of the 80s, making that video was so much fun for me. Seriously, unboxing that thing here on camera, it felt like Christmas morning 1988 all over again. And today's video is going to be kind of a follow-up to that Proton Pack unboxing, as we're going to be taking a look at, well, another Proton Pack. You see, in the late 90s, we received a follow-up to the real Ghostbusters animated series in the form of Extreme Ghostbusters. Now, the show did have some familiar faces like Egon Spengler, Janine Melnitz, Slimer. Heck, even Ray, Peter, and Winston, they showed up in a two-part episode. But really, it was the new team that drove the series. And with a new team, that meant brand new ghost-catching hardware, like an upgraded proton pack and a ghost trap. And if you were a fan of the show, you'd be able to buy your very own brand new proton pack or ghost trap as Trendmasters released a line of toys based around the show. As you're seeing in my hands right now, I've got the Proton Pack and the Blaster. Let's go ahead and show you that original Extreme Ghostbusters Trend Masters toy commercial. Gear up for the Extreme! Extreme! Arm yourself with the ultimate Ghostbusting gear! You power up the Proton Pack for ectoplasmic lights and sound! Get Extreme with your own plasma power beam! and fry that ghost into ecto-toast. Now you set the trap, and in a snap, blast them back. Extreme Ghostbusters, Proton Power Pack, and Ghost Trap each sold separately. Batteries not included from Treadmasters. So if for some odd reason you could not tell where this video was headed from its title or that commercial, today we're taking a look at the Treadmasters Extreme Ghostbusters Proton Pack and Ghost Trap. And very much like that real Ghostbusters Proton Pack, I am so excited to dive into these here today. But before I do, I want to send a huge shout out to Hastel Toy and Collectibles. If you watch our YouTube channel, you've definitely heard of him before. He was the one that was able to track down both the Proton Pack and the trap for me. And as I always say when I'm talking about Hastel Toy, if you've got anything you're looking for for your collection, he is the man to contact. We got his Instagram page down below in the description. Now let me address this right now. I was born in 1984, the year Ghostbusters arrived in theaters. In fact, the day I was born, Ghostbusters hit number one on the Billboard music charts, like the original Ray Parker Jr. song. You're welcome. But growing up in the late 80s, early 90s, you know, as a kid, to me, my heart is with the real Ghostbusters. So when Extreme Ghostbusters came out in the late 90s, I watched it, I enjoyed it, but I never really, at the time, bought all the merchandise. So this is all pretty new to me. Like, I've seen these for years, but I never really had them in hand. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. And one of the main reasons that I wanted to add this Proton Pack finally to my collection, I mean, outside of the point that I've got all the Trend Masters Extreme Ghostbusters action figures, is I've always loved the designs seen in Extreme Ghostbusters. Now on here, you're gonna see tons of stickers, valves, buttons, and quite a lot of it is just for show, but there is some functionality to it. On the right-hand side, we have got these removable canisters that you can actually attach to the Neutrona wand. And we're gonna show you that here in a couple seconds. Taking a look on the other side here, you're gonna see it says Nuclear Positron Collider. And on top, there's a red button that you can press inwards. That really doesn't do anything at all. However, it should be noted that that compartment does open up. So if you wanna hide or store something inside of there, you totally can. Now, unlike the Kenner Real Ghostbusters Proton Pack, Trend Masters Extreme Ghostbusters Proton Pack does come with lights and sounds. There's a little on-off switch at the bottom here, so let's go ahead and flick it on. And then on the side of here, you're gonna see this kind of pull handle. And that handle, you can pull it forwards or back, but on the top, you're gonna see a red button. And if you press that button, that once again is what's gonna activate lights and sound. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I've watched every episode of Extreme Ghostbusters, and uh, I don't recall ever hearing the Proton Pack make those noises. I mean, they're cool and all, but uh, yeah, certainly not screen accurate. Now, of course, if you've got a Proton Pack, you're also going to need a Proton Wand or Neutrona Wand or Proton Blaster, whatever you really want to call it. And Trend Masters did an amazing job at adapting what we saw in the animated series into toy form. Much like that Proton Pack, we got tons of stickers on there, Danger, Radioactive, Caution. 
Now I do have to make mention that when it came to the blaster and the proton pack, there seems to be a couple different renditions that were released. And the biggest change when it came to them is the amount of electronics that was found in the wand. Some were totally tricked out, others were pretty basic, and sadly the one I have right here, it's the more basic one. And also double sadness, the basic lights that are inside of this wand, I, I couldn't get working. So uh, yeah, this, this isn't going to light up. But still, let's go ahead and go over some of the functionality. You've got this really cool red flip switch on the handle that does nothing whatsoever, but it looks so cool. And as I alluded to earlier, this is where those canisters that were on the proton pack come into play. Because you can easily dislodge one of these and then switch it out with another. Trendmasters also included a yellow proton stream, which attaches really easily right to the front there and stays on there nice and secure. Oh, and there's also a projectile weapon right here. All you gotta do is just pop this little area open. You're gonna see some cool sticker detail inside of there. And then all you have to do is just press that big silver button. And in doing so, now, while I couldn't get the wand to light up, I have to make mention that the projectile does take its very own batteries, which as you're seeing here, emits a blinking red light. Now to attach the wand to the proton pack, all you gotta do is match the little red dots up and then turn. Now, just as important as the proton pack and the proton blaster, Trend Masters, they didn't end it there as they also released their very own version of the Extreme Ghostbusters Ghost Trap. And while some liberties have been taken here, I mean, it doesn't look exactly like it did in the animated series. This right here is such a fun toy. And it should be noted, when you bought the trap, not only did you get, well, the ghost trap, you also got a more simplified version of that Neutrono Blaster. Or Neutrono 1 Proton Blaster, I don't know, I've probably called it like 18 different things so far. And I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this, because honestly, the other one is so much better. But it's got the caution striping stickers, radioactive, danger, the Extreme Ghostbusters branding there. It also comes with its own unique Proton Stream, which uh, attaches, but not really as easily. And then there's like this red crank on the side of here and all you can do is then... So there's a red crank on the side of here and all you gotta do is just turn that crank and you can see... That was a wonderful noise. Now let it be known, I am missing a few pieces to this set. In fact, you can see what I'm missing in that original Extreme Ghostbusters Trend Masters commercial. As this Ghost Trap bundle originally came with red and blue ghosts. And the ghost would attach by a magnet to the end of that proton stream. If uh, any of you guys out there happen to have any of those ghosts, you know, just lying around, be sure to uh, maybe email me, you know, let me know. I'm, uh, I'm willing to, you know, take them off your hands for you. I kind of need them. Okay, going back to the ghost trap here, I love this thing. Now upon laying it down on the floor or a table, you're going to notice you can extend the three platform legs at the bottom, which reveal even more caution striping, nothing wrong with that. As well, on the side here, you're going to notice there is a connection piece, meaning if you want to, you can connect your proton blaster, the one that came with the proton pack, up to the ghost trap. I mean, it's not exactly how Kylie Griffin had it in Extreme Ghostbusters, but, uh, you know, it's close enough. Now, as you would guess, much like that proton pack, the ghost trap does come with lights and sounds. And to activate it, all you gotta do is just hit this big pedal. I mean, come on, how cool was that? Now, as it showed in that commercial, the middle of the ghost trap can also contain either that blue or red ghost that originally came with this ghost trap. Now finally, one of my absolute favorite features of this ghost trap, and well, this proton pack, is you can actually attach the trap right onto the back of the pack. And let me add, as an adult collector, I love the way this looks in my collection, but I could just imagine what it would have been like to be a kid in the late 90s and receive this on Christmas morning, once again, much like I did with my Kenner Real Ghostbusters proton pack. I mean, you had the pack here with the proton blaster attached, and that ghost trap as well. You paired that with all the lights and the sounds. I mean, I would have been running around my house and I would have felt like a real Ghostbuster. Actually, correction, you wouldn't have felt like a real Ghostbuster. You likely should feel more like an extreme Ghostbuster, right? So Ghostbuster fans, that does it for this video. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in this video's description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.